All right, this is another common question I often get regarding uh, diets. Can I do a ketogenic diet, a low-carb diet, or a carnivore diet without a gallbladder? And the short answer is yes, you can. Um, sometimes it takes some modifications initially. But if we look at uh, the, the sort of the anatomy and the physiology of what the gallbladder does, the gallbladder, some of you guys know, stores a substance called bile. Bile is utilized to help us to break down or emulsify fats. And so bile is stored in the gallbladder, it's produced in the liver, it goes down uh, the hepatic duct, it joins the common bile duct, and then enters the uh, duodenum through something called the sphincter of Odi. Uh, bile in the gallbladder, and it comes down the cystic duct, joins the bile from the liver, again, joining what's called the common bile duct, and that enters, again, into the duodenum through that sphincter. And so, when there is fat present in the upper small intestine, when, when, when that's fat has been sent, so we've had a fatty meal, what happens is this, that sphincter of Odi opens and that, that bile will then enter that area. The, the, the gallbladder will contract under the uh, stimulation of a hormone called cholecystokinin or CCK. Uh, and, and that's how we get uh, that, that extra bolus of bile uh, to help us emulsify and break down that fat. Now, when you don't have a gallbladder, what happens is bile is still accumulating and stored in that common bile duct behind the sphincter vodi. So the same thing happens when you when you have uh, the upper intestine sim, uh, senses fat that you've digest, that you've ingested. The, the sphincter opens up and bile comes in there. Now what happens over time actually that common bile duct actually expands and it acts almost like a mini reservoir like the gallbladder does. And so you can certainly uh, continue to eat fat with the absence of the gallbladder. Now, you know, the question is, why is this, what's, what's wrong with the gallbladder? Well, the gallbladder often um, produces gallstones uh, or sludge, this sort of accumulation of the, the, the bile that, that uh, basically some of the components in there start to crystallize out or, or they come out of solute uh, and they become sludge-like, like sand, and, and it irritates the gallbladder. Sometimes it turns into stones. And then it becomes painful, and, and the gallbladder gets inflamed. We call that cholecystitis, and sometimes it gets infected. And now, when we ingest fat, that squeezing of the gallbladder causes pain every time, and then we end up um, uh, having the gallbladder removed, either due, to, either due to pain or because the stones can, can start to lodge and block things. And, and so that's what happens. So why that occurs is because gall is static. It's There's stasis of the bile, and that's because... We're not seeing fat in our intestines enough, and therefore the gallbladder just fills up with these stones, and that's what happens. So this, this is kind of a consequence of a low-fat diet over time, particularly one in which you, you eat a bunch of junk food and you, you have this chronic underlying inflammation. So that is the reason, in many cases, why the gallbladder needs to be removed. And so if you go on a, a carnivore diet or whatever, keto diet, low-carb low diet, Initially, you're going to need to probably moderate how much fat you eat. That is to say, you don't want to eat a lot of fat at one time uh, because you'll overwhelm the capacity of your body to, to secrete the bile. And then you end up with steatorrhea or, you know, uh, fat in the stool. And so over time, that capacity seems to recover um, and you're able to eat kind of a normal amount of fat. Uh, and again, I don't think we should be eating just gobs and gobs of fat in one sitting anytime. Fat that comes on meat... You know, a fatty steak is probably, for most people, an adequate amount of fat. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for the question. You guys have a great evening. I'm going to go eat some fat at, a, at dinner. We're going to have, I'm sure we're going to have some steak with some fat on it. So we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.